Okay, so this question is asking us to calculate molarity using solute moles. So the question says, a chemist prepares a solution of sodium chloride by measuring out 149 micromoles of sodium chloride into a 450 milliliter volumetric flask, filling the flask to the mark with water to create the solution. They want us to calculate the concentration in moles per liter, which is molarity of the chemist's sodium chloride solution, round your answer to the three to three significant digits. Well, you, you all probably already recognize molarity, capital M, as moles of solute per liter of solution. Well, molarity is just simply a concentration unit. A concentration can be defined as, uh, represented by the C, concentration can be defined as the number of moles of solute per volume of whatever it is that we're talking about. So if we're talking about the concentration of the solution, well, the concentration of the solution is gonna be equal to the number of moles of solute per volume of solution. So what do we have in this problem? What information do they give us? Well, let's write out our givens here. They tell me that I have 149 micromoles of sodium chloride. And they also tell me that I have a 450 milliliter solution. That's the volume of the volumetric flask. And so they asked me again to find the concentration of the solution. Well, what is concentration equal to? Right here. Concentration is equal to the number of moles of solute divided by the volume of the total solution if we're looking for the concentration of the solution. Well, what do I have? I have the volume of the total solution and I have an amount of solute, but it's in micromoles. So we have a problem because if I plug these numbers in, if I plug this in here, and if I plug this in here, I'll get a concentration, but the units of concentration will be micromoles per milliliter. They want the units in moles per liter. So what we have to do are some unit conversions. So the first thing we want to do, let's go ahead and convert micromoles to moles. So I take my amount of solute here, 149 micromoles. Let's convert it to moles. And so I need to know that one micromole is how many moles? Well, what's the meaning of micro? One times 10 to the minus six. And that'll give us 0 0.000149 moles. And let's convert this volume of the solution, which is 450 milliliters, let's convert it to liters. Milliliters goes on the bottom, liters on the top. I place a one next to my prefix unit and the meaning of milli will be what goes here, 10 to the minus three. And I get 0.45 and I need an additional significant figure those would be liters, my units cancel here. Now, of course, you could have done this conversion in your head as well by moving the decimal place to the left three times. Okay, so now I have my converted unit values. And so let's plug them into this equation that gives us concentration of the solution. So again, we have concentration of the solution is equal to the amount of solute divided by the volume of the solution. So the concentration would be equal to the amount of solute that we have in this solution, which is 0 0.000149 moles of our solute, which is sodium chloride, divided by the volume of the solution in liters, which is 0 0.450 liters. That gives us a concentration of 
three one times ten to the minus four moles per liter to three significant figures. You could also report this the units as not just moles per liter, but you could also report the units as capital M, which would be molar. So you'd say you have a 3.31 times 10 to the minus 4 molar solution.